In this video, we will learn how to fix api-ms-win-crt-environment-l1.dll is missing. So let's begin. So the problem is really easy to solve. Simply go and open up your browser. In my case, I would be opening the Google Chrome browser. And simply paste it, your edit here and click on the download. And here you would be seeing multiple sites, but I would prefer this sts-tutorials.com. Open it up. And once you're here, simply scroll down below. And here we have the download section. But before moving on to this, you need to find out what kind of system you have. Either it is 32-bit system or 64-bit system. For that, simply go to your start and type in here for this PC. And right click it and go to properties. In here again, the system type, you can see what kind of system you have. So I have 64-bit operating system. But don't worry, I will solve the problem for 32-bit system as well as 64-bit system. So first we will solve the problem for 32-bit system. For that simply go and download the 32-bit file. And here wait a bit for the download to start. So here we go. So once the download is complete, simply go to your download section. Here we go. Here we have the 32-bit file. Open it up. Go to the folder. Copy this D DLL file. And here go to this PC. Go to local disk C. Here you can see where the Windows is installed. Open it up. Go to Windows. And here scroll down below until you see SysWow64. Open it up. And paste the 32-bit file here. Paste it here. Click on continue. Here we go. So once you have done so, now restart your PC and 32-bit problem will be solved. Now we will solve the problem for 64-bit systems. For that, simply go to your download section. And for 64-bit, we need the 32-bit file as well as the 64-bit file. So I have already downloaded the 32-bit file. Now I will download the 64-bit file. So it would take a bit of a time, so simply wait. So once you are here, I would go to the download section. So once it is downloaded, simply open it up. I would be opening in the new window. Here we are, 32-bit as well as 64. Now go to 32-bit file. Copy this DLL file. Go to Windows folder. And here again, uh, go to SysBow64 and paste the 32-bit file here. Now go back, go to your download section, go to your 64-bit folder, copy the DLL file from here, go to your Windows folder, go to System32 and paste the 64-bit file here. go back and now restart your PC and by doing so hope your problem will be solved on 64 bit as well so hope it has helped you but before you go please like subscribe and share thank you